What's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of this three slide fifth wheel by Cherokee. This is the 2025 Arctic Wolf 3250 and I think you guys are going to really enjoy it. This is a three slide fifth wheel with an all new interior and exterior. It also has a Murphy pantry, dual entry into the bathroom from the bedroom. A lot of good stuff going for it. Drop comments, let me know what you think. All of the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes will be down in the description along with a link for the pricing. But today we are down at uh, Cherokee's kind of little sneak peek event where they kind of set up everything. They got a couple food trucks, pretty good little uh, ice cream shop over there that I was snacking on. But let's go ahead and get into it. Again, it's the 2025 Arctic Wolf. 3250 sweet and I have a good relationship with Arctic Wolf. I've sold them uh, for a number of years, you know, haven't uh, done anything with them really, you know, kind of recently, but up until about a year and a half ago, I'd sold them for a number of years and they are a very good looking product that's well built, but not breaking the bank. I think that you will agree the new decor for 25 is looking pretty darn sharp. And a lot of the RV industry is kind of going with these soft glow lights. I really like it. Kind of gives it a more evenly distributed feel to it. The flooring is going to be, you know, a little bit lighter than, you know, like for instance, the cabinetry. So it kind of breaks up. You got kind of like a three-tone system going on. So dual slides, you're going to have your kind of your cooking and entertainment slide over here. And then you have your seating slide over on this side. Now you're going to have a box frame. So it's not going to be a flush mount flooring on there. So one little kind of hop up and you can hop up into the slide. As far as slide height is concerned, I'm fumbling up my words. As far as slide height is concerned, you're probably looking at about 6'2 or so, I would say. So you're gonna get some really nice windows. You're also going to have a mirrored reflective finish to the window. So if you haven't seen those before, you can kind of see how you can, you know, see that that's not going through anything. That is the mirrored reflective. So kind of think of like a sunglass effect to it. You know, they say it cuts down really well on the UV light, keeps down on heat. You're also going to have your nightshades, you know, here too as well. So that way, you know, if you really dislike the sun, you know, you can block it all out, stop the old skin from sizzling. Booth style seating with some storage over here, along with a table that does have a little pullout for, you know, some silverware along with two extra chairs. Theater seating or recliner seating, however you want to call it, you know, whichever way is going to be directly across from your TV. So a really good viewing angle. You actually have a pretty good viewing angle when you're sitting at the, you know, the dinette as well. So if you're playing some cards or whatnot, and you want the game in the background, you're able to do that. Bada bing and bada boom. You're also going to get outlets, USBs and universal C's along with a pullout sofa. That's going to take up majority of this room with just enough squeak through room to get past this island. A lot of good windows here out the back. The middle one uh, does open up for a good breeze along with these two as well. So none of the windows that are in the sides of the slides will open up, but you're going to get overhead storage, the pullout sofa, the fireplace. And I like how they even included, instead of a block, it's kind of like a little carrying nook in here. I just think that's a kind of a sharp, uh, you know, kind of way of approaching it. You get extra storage as opposed to, you know, extra decor, I guess you would say. Tons of storage back here, along with a great place to put some, you know, books and whatnot. But I love that, you know, you can kind of stuff all the things that you don't want your neighbors to see that you got right in there. And then you're coming around, you have your oven, which is going to be a three stovetop burner, along with enough room, you know, to cook up maybe like a chicken, some pizzas, things of that nature. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. You have the solid surface countertops. They even incorporate a little LED light for a little bit of extra lighting as you go out throughout the unit. And then you have a ton of storage as well. So four that are going to be just like this. And then two that are going to be twice the size down there on the bottom. Open cabinetry to the left and the right of the microwave. Along with a place where you can couple, put a couple, uh, you know, bottles of wine if that's your style. Flip it around, you got the TikTok sink that everyone seems to be flipping over to. And I'm very excited about that because it is a nicer sink. You're going to have the, the cleaner right there. And then you got that kind of hexagonal pattern down below, which I think just looks really nice. But it's like a, um, like a charcoal stainless steel finish. Garbage can, drawers, access to your plumbing. And then you move it around. Oh, oh we'll be there in a minute. Right here you have a 12 volt refrigerator and it's going to be one of the big boys. So you're going to have a massive freezer space over on this side. Oh, it's got the safety lock. 
So that's a good test for that. <laughs> Freezer on the left, refrigerator on the right. And then you also have your central road vac along with a place for the vacuum right there as well, including two extra drawers. And then of course, you know, some extra, uh, extra space right there. Backdrop changed. Looks really nice. This actually has a wallpaper, even though it looks like it's textured, even all the way when you're up close to it, it looks like it does. So it kind of adds a little bit of life uh, into an otherwise, you know, just kind of flat and plain boring area. I mean, look at that. It looks pretty sharp. Maybe drop a comment. Let me know what you think. Another place for uh, more wine. <laughs> so you're good. you can be quite the drinker inside of this thing. Crack your apple juice bottles, baby. Have yourself a good time. Get a little funky down at the campground. On-demand tankless hot water heater along with your control panels. So this is going to be for your heat and AC and then all of your awnings and slide controls along with living room lights. This is going to be that dimmer right there. So if you want to sit down, snuggle up with honey buns and watch a movie, well, you dim it down, set the mood. Now you're the man of the hour. You have a fuse box right down here, floating steps with the um, automatic light that kicks on as you're coming up, which is always nice. A grab handle just to kind of assist you as you're coming in. But I do enjoy this bedroom. One, you got a reading nook. But also, I love the fact that you have your own interest, entrance, entrance, geez, oh, Pete's, along with a guest entrance. Whew. Porcelain throne, a Ruski right there. And just so you can see kind of how I'm fitting. Fitting just fine on either side. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the corner radius shower, but if you're going to have one, you know, at least let it be one of the bigger ones. So I can definitely fit in here. And then even when it's closed up, uh, you can see, you know, I've got pretty good amount of room, not having a dance party, uh, but I'm also not, you know, stressed and, you know, kind of cursing the world about the size of the darn thing. Why'd I buy it? Boom, baby. The old bowling gun, medicine cabinet, countertop space, more storage for more stuff. And uh, let's use, uh, let's use this entrance because there's two. Little king bed action. Doesn't get much better than that. Doesn't look like storage underneath in that sense, but you can put it on over there. You're also going to have a whole bunch of windows for a good view. Remember, they are going to be tinted, but they're in that reflective mirrored finish uh, tint instead. Outlet, outlet, USB, USB, universal C on both sides, and then move it along back here. Come on, gimbal. You're going to have your dresser along with a fireplace there as well, along with a couple extra viewing windows. And then right here you have a sliding door with the glass. And that is going to be adjustable shelving, hanging clothes, and it's prepped for a washer and dryer. So if you would like to, you can have a fully stackable washer and dryer in here. You know, absolutely no problem. You also have a very, very cool little reading nook. I mean, I absolutely love that. You got all the outlets, including a 12 volt plug. Uh, that you could need. I love the fact that you do get a good viewing window out here. More storage for more stuff. More storage for more stuff. But all right, guys, now I'm going to head around the outside, show you what she's all about there. It is hotter than bejeebers out here. I'm sweating like crazy. It's like 85 outside, but it's like, you know, 115 inside. But again, it's the 2025 Arctic Wolf 3250 Suite. And now we're here on the outside. And what do you guys think about going with the lighter, wider, you know, exterior decor? One, you're going to have the juice pack. So that's going to be an optional solar panel there for you. So it's going to be 200 watts of solar. You notice you have the dual axle, the solid entry steps to flip up into the door. You're also going to get, you know, a little leash latch here for your furry friend. Let me open up this for you. Massive pass-through storage. It also shows off the aluminum frame construction that is going to be welded at all points as well, which is always a big time plus. And then here underneath, you're heated and enclosed, and you actually have what they call that, um, that, that uh, I think they call it tank armor or something like that. Uh, basically, it's six-foot paneling, um, so that way you, know, you can get in and out of your camper a little bit easier in a maintenance sense. You are prepped for a four-camera safety system, so you'll see you're prepped right there right there in the back and on the other side on the front. So if you want to, you know, you can use it as like a little kind of little doorbell or when you're driving down the road, you can see both left, right and behind, which is always a plus. LP Quick Connect will be located right there. You are eligible to have a slide topper added on if you would like, which is a piece of awning that's gonna go 
from here to here, prevent debris from falling on top of your unit. You also are prepped for the Lippert on the go ladder system, which runs you about 300 bucks. You hook it up, you can get on top of your fully walkable roof. I mean, look at that. You can't see in, but you got that mirrored reflective finish, super duper cool, I like that. You're also going to have a four-way pin, a two-inch receiver. So you're gonna have a 3,000 pound, or 300 pound hitch rating, 3,000 pound tow rating, I do believe. Prep for that rear observation camera, basically four and a half inch screen, you suction cup onto your windshield and you are ready to rock. Right here is gonna be where you plug in your unit. Sewer outlet connection. And then the back end of your hot water heater. And this is going to be your spray port. So you have hot and cold water in the form of an outside shower along with your electric leveling, your tank fills, and then of course your black tank flush, which is basically going to be a sprinkler system there for your poop tank. Propane bottles located behind here along with a little bit of storage there up front. And the all new reworked front cap. But all right guys, hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hope to catch you next time. Again, my name is Hunter and this is the 2025 Arctic Wolf. 3250 sweet. Have a great day. See you.